Thank you, Lord, for the love of my life and the friend. I made a promise. What's going on, y'all? Yeah. Oh, I got him. Got him. Uh, Came with a little, right little right drama. Because oh, one of my sons, he didn't want to come at first because he couldn't find his socks. And he didn't want to go. He wanted to probably stay home and play the game or whatever. But I told him, oh, no, you're going. Now, was I wrong? Nah, not at all. Because this is my time with our kids. I'm off work, and I get them on my days off. At least when I call, if they're not doing anything, I get them. But um, if they doing something, then I, you know, I just have to let them do what they do. But uh, it's just, you know, it's like it's always, now, Father, y'all can back me up on this. It's always, for, for those that have to deal with it, it's always some drama, you know. I'm talking to my baby girl, and I tell her that daddy's going to get her a dog. Now, she's special needs, you know. She's special needs, not biologically mine. But I tell her I'm going to get her a dog and because, you know, she loves dogs. She loves the sound of a dog. So I tell her, you know, when daddy get a place... You know, daddy get a place of his own in a nice backyard. I'm going to get you your own dog. Your own dog that will love you, you know, that you can play with. It ain't going to do nothing because she loves dogs. She loves the sounds. That She loves the barking. She loves the wagging of the tail. She loves the jingling of the, uh, the uh, uh, collar. I pay attention to all of that. Now, as I say this, my, the mother of my children tells me that I shouldn't tell her that I'm going to get her a dog because I don't even have a place to stay. That don't mean that I can't tell her that I'm going to get her something. That's I'm like, why would you say something like that? Like, why are you so combative? Why do you want to start an argument? You know, there's no need for that. I'm talking to our baby girl. Well, when you talking to her, you talking to me. What? I'm talking to baby girl. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to baby girl. Now, I'm asking a question to y'all. Is there something wrong with that? You know, if you tell your children that you're going to do something for them, and even though you can't do it at that moment in time, you're still going to do it. Shouldn't be nothing wrong with that. Because we tell our kids stuff that we're going to do all the time. We don't do it immediately, but we do it eventually for those that are actually going to do it. Now, I know what broken promises are. That's the thing. I know what broken promises are because my uh, father did that to me and my twin brother when we was young. And also my other brothers. And even sometimes my mom had broken promises. But I know what those are. So why would I do that to our children? I made our children a promise last week. I said I would come and get y'all on my off days, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's our day. And then we also have the weekends. You know, if I'm not busy working, I will call, check on y'all, see what y'all doing. If y'all not busy doing something, there's nothing wrong with that. That's still something that I made. I told our kids because kids, you don't have to say I promise to kids. You just tell them that you're going to do something and the kids going to hold you to your word. So at that point in time, I'm just looking at it like, OK, now this is just turning into you wanting to control me control what I'm saying and I don't like that but I didn't argue I said okay we just gonna leave you know I did tell her like that she likes to be combative she likes arguments and that's straight up because there's no reason for you to do that there's no reason to do that in front of our children there's no reason to argue in front of your kids there's none whatsoever that's what I've been trying to tell her like hey I went to classes for stuff like this. We don't. We shouldn't do this in front of them. This is not healthy. This is not something that we should, any parent should be doing in front of their children. It's, it's not healthy at all. Because you're teaching them to be argumentative. You're teaching them to be combative. You're teaching them to hold a grudge. So much stuff that they don't need. All we have to do is communicate for the sake of of our children. 
That's it. Just like where I said I was coming, I asked what y'all was doing. I was coming to get the kids so we can go work out, so they can clean up and earn their keep when it comes to getting a haircut. Not only that, you're going to get the knowledge of working, of the value of a dollar. So with them working out and doing what they're supposed to and also cleaning up whatever we do, picking up trash, they're going to be paying for their own haircut. That's going to pay for their haircut. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Now, if you find something wrong with that, I mean, hey, comment and let me know why you think there's something wrong with that. Write it in the comments. Or if you do agree with me, write it in the comments. Have a conversation. We ready to learn. Anybody still here? And also, they're going to get something to eat, you know, because I know, uh, Jerry, you still, mama said you can't uh, eat after seven, I mean, drink after seven? Yes. All right. So I got, definitely got to get him something to eat and something to drink because he can't drink nothing when he get home. So I have to take him to get something to eat after they finish their workout. But this is what I'm doing for not just my kids, but other kids that I get to mentor and train. And I know I need a bigger vehicle for the kids and I'm going to get one. The Lord is going to bless me with one through me being able to work. Um, you know, the, the hustle that I do, the mentoring that I do, all of that stuff mobily, helping other individuals. That's going to help me with that. Especially being on social media. So, we're on our way to the church where we're going to get some workout in. We're going to stretch. We're going to uh, pick up trash. We're going to clean up whatever is needed to be cleaned up in there or on the outside of there. And then we'll wash our hands, go eat a little bit, find out what they've learned, and then I'll drop them off and head back to the church where I sleep at. It's a lie. So we just got to keep on going, man. Just got to keep going. Can't give up. So I hope and pray that this message reaches the right people, uh, the right fathers, uh, parents, let's just say that, uh, parents, and let's, let's do this like we know how. I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge.